portrait of a graduate in a nutshell can be described sort of like your North Star as a school system for what aiming your community towards the things that really matter for your students to know and be able to do by the time they leave your system so that they are productive citizens in a highly complex world. What are the skills and mindsets and things that young people need to know in order to effectively navigate these rapid changes in society? What kinds of things do those students need to know and be able to do in order to thrive as citizens in our collective worlds? And in the school system that they're in, how many of those competencies that you just named are intentional areas of focus for those students' educational experience? When you talk about a community um, co-creating a portrait of a graduate, we really mean the whole community, all stakeholders, all ages. That means includes students, and it includes students whose voices perhaps have not been well represented in the past. So you wanna think beyond your kind of traditional student council leaders uh, looking for populations that have not had a strong voice and reaching out to them. The same with your community of parents. School board members occasionally, you know, uh, and, and also faith-based leaders, higher education leaders, business leaders, after school providers. There has to be a real community understanding of why you're doing it so that when it does get hard, you work through those difficult moments together as a community. Superintendents have board members on their side. Building leaders have teachers supporting the work. Parents understand when students are coming home with um, different types of reports than they're used to seeing. They understand why those changes are happening and it, it gives you a shared vocabulary and more importantly, just a shared commitment to what's right in education. The students probably have more profound ideas of what, what they really think should be happening in their schools than we give them credit for. Part of our challenge has, has and continues to be is really drawing that out of our students who are rewarded for many times in systems like ours for just, again, being compliant and doing as we say and really to get them to really be critical and, and push back. And they said, you know, for the first time, it feels like they created something for us, you know, versus the other way around. And the fact that we had students on our committee, given their input, we've seen decreases in some of our lack of attendance out of kids. We've seen behavior uh, incidents decrease. We've seen our graduation rates start to rise. A lot of the work these days, especially right now, is very uh, stressful and anxiety producing. And the portrait of a graduate is uniformly something that people say is very energizing. It makes people feel hopeful. It gives them a lot of energy for the kinds of transformation work that we know needs to happen in schools and systems around our country. The portrait of a graduate is a great place to start a dialogue with your school board, with your school superintendent, um, and, and help lead your community to a stronger place for all your students.